Welcome to High Infidelity. The best cheating videos on YouTube. If you enjoy this content, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications. Now let's get into the video. Wife of 12 years cheated. Hello everyone, I just discovered that my wife of 12 years has cheated on me many times in the last month. We have three daughters, 10 5 4, and I'm completely lost and bewildered, wounded, furious, and every other feeling imaginable, but most of all devastated. This was not something I expected, we had a good relationship and a terrific life. The last year had been a little tough, but I never expected her to do this. She'd make the excuse that she was going to her book club or a bookstore, and he'd take her out to dinner, do the deed, and watch TV with her. I was gone for 6-8 hours while I was watching our children, and I discovered the messages between them on her Instagram. We recently came out of a week vacation that she requested to rediscover herself, and everything appeared to be going well until I snooped through her messages and discovered she sent a message to a man to meet up on Thursday, and not 20 minutes later she asked if she could go to book club on Thursday. Anyway, to cut a long tail short, I'm crushed. There was a lot more to the affair, but she cheated on him five times. I love her more than life itself, and I'm so lost that I don't want to give up. Update. I just found out she cheated a day ago, so I set some ground rules for her to observe while I sorted myself out. The first was being absolutely honest, and I informed her that if I caught her telling a lie, it was game over. So now that I've caught her in another lie, it's officially over and we're divorcing. I've given her three months to find work or she'll be tossed out. Story 2. I cheated on my partner who is still willing to trust me. I, 22F, was in a long-term relationship with my ex-boyfriend for four years, beginning in high school and ending in my last year of college. We split up because my ex was possessive, jealous, and controlling. He dictated what I wore, who I talked to, and many of my work decisions. We were always an on-again, off-again relationship. He had a number of other positive qualities that I loved and appreciated. He was a very ambitious and diligent individual. He's also typically kind to other girls and ladies, and he's quite concerned and respectful of his mother. But he also held many conventional ideas, such as the man's duty to work and the woman's duty to remain at home and care for her family. When I obtained my first serious job, my income was about twice as much as his, and he wasn't thrilled. But even though he never said anything out loud, I could tell he wasn't pleased by his manner. We had a lot of disagreements after that and we split up approximately two years ago. I was emotionally shattered when we split up. I've never had a great sense of self-esteem, and I'm not very beautiful. I'm really thin and flat all over. I'm also small and seem to be a 12-year-old boy with long hair, and all of the limitations on my clothing choices made me feel even more uneasy about my figure. So following the split, I was seeking for approval and an ego boost. Less than a week after the split, this guy Jeff, now 23M, who attends one of my ex's courses, they weren't close friends, but more like acquaintances since they had the same class and probably contacted one other once in a while for notes or to inquire specifics about classes, began messaging me. He was also going through a difficult split with his ex, and we connected through our shared breakup sufferings and sorrows. Just a little background on Jeff. He is regarded as one of the men at my campus and is well-liked by the ladies. He did, however, cheat on his girlfriend with his best friend's ex. As a result, his whole group of buddies turned their backs on him and went NC. So he was depressed since he had lost his girlfriend and pals. I also lost a lot of friends during my split since my ex and I had a lot of similar pals and many of them believe I'm stupid for breaking up over something as trivial as possessiveness. Within a month of communicating, we began and up on a regular basis. He was also up with his ex, despite the fact that they were still split up. My ex had the passwords to all of my accounts and was privy to every communication interaction between me and Jeff. He became very enraged and jealous and pounded Jeff for doing this to him. And since none of Jeff's friends spoke to him, no one stood up for him and many others believed he deserved it. Jeff became enraged and stopped speaking to me after this since it was my folly that caused him to get battered, me not changing my passwords after breaking up. As a result, he barred me everywhere, and a pandemic occurred two months later. I never saw Jeff again, 
and I never had the opportunity to apologize. I became emotionally connected to him throughout our but never informed him because I was afraid he would stop up with me. I remained at my parents' house throughout the pandemic because I had WFH, and two months later, I sent Jeff a message from a friend's phone saying I'm sorry and that I truly do feel awful about it. I was attempting to move on from him and felt sending him a farewell text would help. Jeff phoned me a few days later to say he is no longer upset with me and would want to resume our connection. That night, we ended up. His parents are from a different nation than mine, thus he had also returned to his parents' home as a result of WFH. So there was no way for us to meet, but we on a regular basis. Even while we were up, we were excellent friends. I used to help him prepare for job interviews and he made sure I ate every day since I was in a slump and was starving myself. We would also sit at the library and study together. We were more akin to FWB than pals. Six months after we reconnected, I asked him out and told him how I had always been interested in him from the beginning. He said that he just regarded me as a friend. I was devastated, but I also realized there was nothing I could do about it. Even if he liked me back, I wasn't eager to leave my own country, and he wasn't either. So I stopped communicating to him and told him I needed some time to recover from him. I met another man, Sam, now 24, via a mutual acquaintance three months after I stopped talking to Jeff. Sam is an extremely lovely and understanding person who was the polar opposite of my ex in a positive way. I liked Sam a lot and loved spending time with him. He was amusing, charming, and considerate. His ex, they split up two years ago, was likewise quite possessive, and she even forced him to break friendships with many of his female friends, including the common friend in question, and once their relationship ended, he had to apologize to everyone and restore their friendship. So we connected on that and promised one other that we would never be envious or possessive of each other. We've been dating for around eight months. I thought I'd moved on from Jeff once I began dating Sam, but when I got in contact with him again, I realized I'd missed my buddy. When we reunited, I informed Jeff that I'm considering about dating other people, I didn't want to reveal that I'd already been dating. Jeff informed me that he had been thinking about me and that he could be interested in me. He stated he isn't ready for a relationship now, but if he ever is, I'd be the first person he'd think about, and he asked if I was serious about dating right now. Yes, I told him I wanted to get over him. Jeff advised that I date others casually to keep my choices open, and that we maintain as previously to help create the link so that when he is ready for a relationship, we have that continuity. But I didn't want to wait for him since I suspected he wouldn't be interested in a relationship with me because he typically dates attractive females and is much out of my league. At this time, he was also sleeping with a couple other ladies. Despite knowing that was a lie, I ended up him and telling him I'd keep in contact. But the following day, I felt bad and informed Sam about everything. Sam was upset but not furious since we had never promised to be mutually exclusive. Following this episode, we decided it was time to agree to be mutually exclusive. So, as part of it, I texted Jeff and informed him that I am already dating someone. Jeff became enraged and cursed at me for doing this to him, claiming that he was beaten by my ex for my sake and that I'm now being into him. He also informed me that I was unattractive and that Sam was probably just using me since he didn't like me. Sam first saw my photo in a common friend's post, thought I was attractive, and requested her to connect us together. But the issue is, we've never met in person. We both reside in the same nation, however he is 16 hours away. The COVID limitations are rather stringent here, and we never had the chance to meet even once. So our whole relationship has been based on texts and phone conversations, and we are in a long-distance relationship. As a result, we never had the opportunity to be active with one other. Was the only option. I didn't want to tease since it reminded me of my predicament with Jeff, and I was also very self-conscious about my physique. I was able to do it with Jeff because I was always under the impression that he wanted me despite my appearance, whereas Sam first thought I was beautiful because of my appearance. I have a feeling that once Sam sees how flat I am, he will lose interest in me, despite the fact that he has repeatedly informed me that he finds me beautiful and doesn't mind whether I'm flat or not. Jeff messaged me again two days ago, 
saying he's sorry for his behavior and that he only acted that way because he likes me and was even ready to come to my country if I hadn't begun seeing someone else. I felt unique and I let my emotions to get the best of me. As a result, I ended up him again. But I felt terrible the following morning, i.e. yesterday morning. So I told Sam everything, and we're presently taking a break since we're both trying to figure out how we feel about this scenario. What should my next step be? I'm completely perplexed. My friends believe Jeff is a who merely says things to keep me around, and that I should break off all contact with him and focus on mending my relationship with Sam. However, I believe I am still emotionally linked to Jeff. Also, I don't want to harm Sam again since he's a real lovely person who has always shown me love, care, and respect. I no longer trust myself, but Sam claims he's ready to trust me again. Sam doesn't seem to be telling me how he really feels because he doesn't want to come out as possessive and dominating.